We just need we need round one to get a machine. That that's the first step because Big Deals always holds it a round one because they had three DDR machines over there. Stay tuned for details on the big deal if it happens or not. All right, song one, boom boom dollars. This is one of the qualifiers for full mode, actually the level twenty three qualifier. A lot of gallops in it. A couple um tricky eighth note turns that go back and forth between both pads. These gallops right at the beginning always catch me. Let's say both players are up to double step. I just saw a chest turn a couple of them. JJK normally doesn't do double steps on full mode. Yeah, I watched him play Don't Stop. He did every single turn. He also plays a lot on his toes, or the balls of his feet on full mode. Both players dodging the mines on the boom, boom, boom. Nicely executed drills by both players. Mine pit to have you um, avoid the center panels there. Both players ABCing the drill at the end. And then this part of the end of the song, it changes rhythm slightly to have four notes into two note gallops. I really like the gallop where you have one foot on each stage. Whoa. Hexstar by JJK. Which, JJ is the number one seed overall for the full mode tournament, so it's great to see that he's able to replicate his performance in qualifiers in tournament, too. Yeah, I know he was grinding right up until basically the qualifiers were due to get that number one spot. He was really just trying to finish out the secret 2K12. Yep, well-deserved number one seed, too. He's been training really hard for Red October. We got some good buys going on right now. A lot of people heading out. All right, let's see what Chez selects for the second song. All right, if I were to guess what he's going to pick. Um, geez, I don't know. I don't really have to guess. I've never seen Chez Mix play full mode before, so I don't know his habits or patterns. And a lot he's of the pretty score, much just well-rounded. Yeah, he's played a lot of the songs, but not recently from what I can see on the app. Ooh, sweet world. This one, a bit different than the wild chart. Yeah, it's still got a lot of roll notes, but it, um, the rolls, you're gonna have to hit them as jumps to emulate the flams that you see in ITG. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I learned that from you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, they're preparing to do the countdown. So I mean, once Isa and Paranoia Boy go up, I got a card draw. So we're pretty well synced. So you can kind of keep an eye on that score comparison for this for this round. Yep. And you can also hit those as just regular jumps as well too to maintain your timing, which most players will hit them as just eighth note jumps. Yeah. There's not really a good reason to actually emulate the flams. It's gonna mess with and your timing more than anything. And we got some tricky center panel streams in between those. I really like how this chart is written with these lifts that basically tell you what foot to take off to start the next section with. Yep. Sometimes charts will use a little mine to tell you to move your foot, but this is a different way to do it with the lift. Ooh, Chez picking up an early, right before the quote-unquote break of the song. And now for the long runs. It's really important to be facing the right direction when you start these streams, or else you could possibly mess up your footing. Lift. 
Yeah, those lifts on jumps where it's a, a dual, a double lift. Those are those are tough. You kind of either got to jump your whole body up, or you kind of have to rock off of the panels. You kind of have to set your feet up correctly beforehand to do that. Nice. Wow. wow. Very close match. Super close. 98 um, point difference. Every machine has adjustable bars here. Very close. Perfect counts there. That early costed Chez the match.